Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today we're going to make a field expedient UHF ground plane antenna at a 3 foot RG6 television coax, 1 BNC bulkhead barrel connector, a Leatherman tool, and duct tape. Okay, the heart of our antenna project is the BNC bulkhead mount feed through which is essentially a BNC barrel connector that connects two male BNC connectors together and it has a threaded portion of it that's machined into it with a nut and a star lock and what you can do is is you can add these to your adapter set that you would carry with you instead of just standard barrel connectors. Okay we're going to cut up the coax and make our elements here. Um, what we have is we have eight inches remember with our Leatherman tool here Add another four, get twelve, and add about an inch to the end for thirteen inches. Cut and measure back here again. Into two separate pieces. Take your Leatherman tool and slice the jacket all the way down. Move your jacket. Remove your shield, then expose your center conductor on the entire length of it by doing it just like this right here, circumferential cuts again, moving a few inches at a time so you don't break the solid strands of the solid conductor. Just continue doing that for the entire length. Okay, once you have that done, you'll have your braid, what's left of your braid. You'll have several of these little things here left over your insulation. Then you're going to have your two conductors right here. Then you're going to go ahead and take what's left of your piece of coax here. Go ahead and measure off eight inches. And do the same thing you did with the other one. And when you have about an inch left right here, at the very end here, you're going to want to move that back to where you got about three millimeters of length. Now go ahead and you should have approximately a six inch radiator right here if you lay it next to your Leatherman tool from here forward. Now what you'll do is, is you'll go ahead and just like we did before with the RF connectors, Take three millimeters of duct tape or approximately thereof and build up a little donut here on the back side. Insert that into your BNC connector here just like that and this should fill that up right there. Okay, now to complete your radiator, go ahead and wrap it with duct tape. that much but get the idea you'd want that so it won't pull out easily okay okay now remove your nut and lock washer from the base of your antenna insert the star lock right here make round turns mid distance in your wire it doesn't have to be flawless. Pull them as tight as you can without breaking the wire. And 
and go ahead and affix your nut to the base of the antenna just like this right here and tighten it up you just need to do it hand tight okay And there we have a basic ground plane antenna. You want these to be between 30 and 45 degrees of down tilt on your radials. And as you can see, now we have a rudimentary ground plane antenna. Okay, you can see our little ground plane antenna here that we finished and I wanted to go over this real quick uh, your braid that you have left over uh, is a it's very strong and it also makes a good wire so you can either insulate it with duct tape if you needed a small conductor or what you can do is, is you can put it back in what you scavenge jacket wise and you could go ahead and use that also and if you're going to put it together just do yourself a sheet bend this right here and tighten a knot and it's pretty strong but if you had to splice together a wire like you needed to connect a battery or something like that just do that splice all these together insulate them use your duct tape and you've got a conductor Okay, we've got our little ground plane on a small piece of PVC mast here. Bring along TV coax. Back to the operating position here. I have a, a meter set up. I've got my uh, 18650 battery pack I made with the uh, ICOM 208H. And we're running on medium power. So we'll go ahead and check forward power. About 12 watts forward. And nothing reflected. So that's good. High power. Pushing 30 watts forward. And none reflected. So we're very low reflected. So we're doing good. Okay, well, as you can see, one of the legs broke when I was taking it off, but when that happens, just try to line them up so they're equidistant from each other like that, and keep on rolling with it. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, if you got any questions or uh, comments, please leave them in the comments section, and I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.